Hello everyone, how you guys doing? This is your friend Gerald Mendez here at Createx Color in Connecticut facility. This is a great place and we are in the spray booth ready to work in this fantastic piece. This is a tin metallic uh, train wagon which is very shiny. It has a polished finish and I think it's a great uh, piece to have it candy over. We're going to spray some candy colors and special effects. I think will be very, very cool piece. In order to start doing this, we need to have a base coat. So that way we keep the transparency of the material, but also we give enough tooth for the paint that is coming. Candies and probably some uh, illustration and opaque colors. I think this will be awesome. In order to do that, we're going to use a transparent sealer, you know, from Artborn, Art along with a, a little bit of uh, 4011 reducer. I reduce about 20% uh, of that and I'm ready to spray it with my Eclipse airbrush. Uh, the PSI will be probably out from 15 to 20 PSI in order to have a complete control of my spray. It's important to have a good flow. We already have it here and I will spray. This has been previously cleaned with isopropyl alcohol and this very clean and ready to go. So all I'm gonna do is just start spraying. You know, I don't really like to go over too much. I need to cover section by section, you know, as I go, because this will be a good base for the color that is coming. Okay, I try to overlap in 50% on every pass. Great way to do it with the retaining base. And of course now I will do it on the top. When this is done, we can wait until it dries and we are ready for the next shot. Okay guys, this is the last code that I give to this transparent sealer on the uh, metallic piece. This is awesome. As you can see it, this is a little bit dull finish, but that's natural. That's what we expect to have it. Remember, we're gonna need to add color and candies and all kinds of transparencies, but look at the difference between this one and this other one. This is, you see how shiny and glossy is this one? This will become this way, but we recover this glossy and shiny after the final clear coat. That's the trick. So it's going to be an awesome project. Okay, we are ready to apply some color here. As you know, we spray the uh, transparent sealer. It's ready for color now. And what I'm going to do is I will use a combination of 40-50, uh, UVLS gloss finish. This is to give a binder to the candy colors. We're going to mix candy colors with uh, uh, 4050. In order for having a good flow on the airbrush, what I do is mix about 50-50 of UVLS and uh, 4011 reducer. This mix make it so easy. And what I do is I use this kind of jar, you know, with the eyedropper, and I just do a couple of drops of that. As you can see, I put probably about four drops. It's almost nothing. And all I'm gonna do is add an other two or three drops of color. This is brandy wine. Use a few drops. One, two, three drops. Is about all I need. I grab a paper towel, mix it up in here, and this is pretty much ready to spray. Probably if I see it maybe too transparent, all I need to do is add a couple extra drops of color to the same mix. Remember, the UVLS is just giving the tooth for the paint to stay on the surface. So I mix it again and I think I'm ready. What I will do in this case, 
this uh, train wagon has a hook in this side. This means for me, this is the front of it, so I will blend it. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start spraying here, just to give some tint of color. Okay, I'm just to start spraying brand new wine over this chrome finish piece, and it will be awesome because I need the darker tones here to blend with the next color, which will be red, then orange, it will be awesome. Now I will add a little bit of texture using the Texture Effects Series 3, and then, so it will blend this texture with the next color. Okay, now I'm grabbing a rubber orange and keep it spraying to blend the color. So as you can see, rubber orange, it start blending along with the brandy wine color. So we're having a, a little bit warm tones and the blending is just perfect. Candy works amazing. So I will go all the way around same direction. Okay, now I'm gonna use magenta color. The magenta candy is because we're gonna have a transition from the orange, then we're gonna have a touch of yellow that is coming after, but then it's gonna start some blue tint in the end. So the transition color will be magenta. So I'm gonna use my uh, texture just to break up and be safe not touching too much of this area and I just blend a little bit so the, the magenta is only a touch of it not too intense so because we're gonna overlap with some other colors with the blue and also with yellow that is coming after we're gonna add some white color to enhance some sections and this will become awesome, that's for sure. Okay, we have now Caribe Blue, same mix, UVLS, and we're gonna try spraying lightly at the end. This transition will be just the base color for detail that's going to be on top, especially white colors and shades. Shade. Okay, we're going to work now in the transition between the grabber orange and the magenta color. The magenta color is to help on the transition between these two colors into the blue. So we're going to add tequila yellow candy to all, of course with a UVLS uh, mix. So I have it here in my airbrush and all I'm going to do is I will spray right there in between those two colors to help in the transition. So I'm sprayed lightly just to handle the transition of color. I can even go over a little bit over the orange and a little bit of, on the magenta. So that way this is a clean transition of color. Okay, well, we have these uh, beautiful colors from red to blue, so it's, we're starting a cold effect here. And we have this uh, second wagon that will be hooked right here, so we need to continue the blue tone here and probably change the intensity to darker tones to have a beautiful landscape. So next step, we're gonna spray some blue in this one. Okay, we have a Caribe blue in this airbrush here and we're gonna start spraying lightly to match as close as possible the same tone that we did early. This blue tone is a little lighter but seems like I need to add a little, a couple more drops of blue to increase the intensity. So all I'm gonna do is just add some Caribbean blue and add a couple more drops into it. So 
that way the intensity of the color will be a little bit more solid you know keeping the transparency but the color can be a little bit more intense this is just ready and then there you go I go slowly and I will cover pretty much the whole area and this blue tone I'm gonna change eventually the intensity of it and seems like it's a simple color at the moment but it will change as we progress with the landscape okay uh, we're gonna enhance the intensity of the blue color here adding a candy to a midnight blue is a very strong color and I will blend it from the end of the wagon to the left so I will try to do slowly a little bit darker in this area if you see it I'm not doing this and keep spraying I always spray from the end to the center so because if I go this I double mark in this end so I need to be careful and blend it progressively so the intensity of the color it comes from the end to the inside of the wallet. Uh, Since we have our uh, blending colors uh, on top of our transparent sealer, we need to protect and seal this again. And this time we're gonna use uh, Candy 40 Bleed Checker. This is an awesome product that protects and stop the uh, candy for bleeding. I will uh, pour directly from the bottle no reducer is necessary and this spray is so easy it flows great in the airbrush and as you can see I can spray it's like transparent varnish that protects our candy and protects from bleeding okay next step now after the 4040 bleed checker this is uh, dry and ready to go so now I will work with white color just to mimic some uh, true fire effect going from the dark part of the front and blend it into the uh, lighter section so all I'm gonna do is just will do freehand at slow pressure so I, I'm probably about 10 psi or less what I will do is just for example in this card I will do a little bit of lines if my white paint can do fine lines that means the paint is good my reduction ratio is probably about 60% uh, reducer 40% paint so we'll be ready to do it let's do it Just adding a little bit of effects here and there. I finished the basic flames through fire with white on top of the candy. The intensity of the white is because the bleed checker is it protects the candy and the colors are not bleeding through so that's why the intensity of the white and that is awesome okay next step now is to uh, colorize these uh, white flames with a grabber orange so we are using candy to all again and i will start spraying lightly my air pressure is very light and i will not go too intense because more colors are coming after all so i'm just colorizing the white pretty much with a 
Forever Orange Candy Tour. Okay, now the next color will be white again and spray uh, tequila yellow on top. So it will push these flames back and then the new ones will come up on front. It will be a nice blending. Okay, the second set of flames on white is just a little bit on the front on the other flames. We need to consider that we need to cover only portion of it. We don't need to overwork on that because we're going to cover the crown. Remember, white is opaque color, so we are just colorizing the white now, but we need to leave enough crumb reflection in the background. So what I'm going to do now is spray some um, tequila yellow on top of this. So, and I'll do very lightly. So because tequila yellow is so intense but I need to be careful not to overwork so just a little bit give enough power to give a, a great look in the flame so I will go here and then I will touch up back again with white only in the very front of some of the yellow flames that okay to make the stippling effect, all I do is take the nozzle head of the airbrush. I'm talking about the Iguata Micron, which gives me that effect. I higher the pressure and I'm able to spray these little tiny dots just to give the sparkle effect on the, only in the front of the flames. So it gives a nice effect that will blend with the color. Okay, uh, the flames are done. We still need to work in the back of the uh, tr train, but I will seal it again with a 4040 bleed checker. So I grab my Eclipse and start spraying. It will seal and bring the intensity of the color alive. Okay, we have this uh, first wagon ready for color, but we need to continue the artwork from this one to the second one. So this is awesome because we have a good transition. And the project that we're going to do it is a wave like this. So we'll be transitioned from fire to water, we'll, which will be awesome. This is my reference image. and. It happens that I have a section of my texture effects tree with this uh, spiral effect. So it will be awesome to create the shape and you guys will see the magic. Okay, I will uh, use a solid white. We are talking about the illustration white. And I place my stencil on the right position and I will spray just the brighter section of it. I need to do a lot of freehand but I need to establish the curve and the effect so I'm spraying this without going too much because I need to um, preserve the transparency and then I will do freehand to create the effect. So I need to create the shape of the way and I'm doing freehand just for the finishing. Okay, the detail with white color is pretty much done on the wave. A little bit of clouds on top of the blue so the transition is coming great and of course I continue on the second piece so that way we can tell this coming from fire to water will be very interesting. So now what I will do is I use a slight, very light spray tillicious color on the bottom on, on the image, especially on the water. So I will turn low my air pressure 
and spray it lightly just to colorize a little bit of that bright white and I need to go back and touch that up with white again so that way we have a, a good transition and contrast okay I will uh, touch up some highlights on the white area so I will go very carefully about some of these sections just to have a brighter highlights especially in on top of the wave and only in very little sections then we're gonna do stippling you know but this section needs to be a lot more brighter okay so we will define the wave better this way this is a freehand job and I will touch up some highlights in the water not everywhere but only few okay after those uh, white highlights I will take the crown cap uh, of the airbrush to make some stippling so I will grab my little stencil just to cover some of the area just to be sure that that stippling will not go in that, in that area okay well we are ready to work on the rest of the uh, illustration here we're working on the top of it and what I will do is I will create a moon with white color I will use my positive and negative uh, template of circles to create that so what I will do is I will find the size the appropriate size that I like to use for the moon and I think this size is good because it's just right at the center and will be will be a good way to do it. So what I will do is first spray some white especially on the top part of it only on the top just to know where is it where it goes and I blend it out so if you see it goes only in that part now I will use the negative uh, the positive of it to create and paint on the other side so that way I have contrast I will create detail here but first I will do it use the opposite side so that way we create depth if I just get this lighted section I have depth because light here and light behind it now I will go for texture and detail inside of the moon okay uh, I sprayed some white here actually I did some texture inside of the moon I uh, spray a little bit of clouds and a little bit of background effect I'm using the texture effects uh, stencil and all I'm doing is pretty much put it in an angle and start spraying a little bit letting the um, over spray creating the magic so okay well I'm ready to spray some uh, grabber orange candy duo over the white we have this area pretty much uh, I spray white as a base so knowing that the uh, orange is coming and I will spray the candy very lightly only just to colorize a little bit and make a, a slightly transition of it okay so I spray the orange on top right there just to colorize the white and then I will grab this uh, other wagon and spray in this section over the white too so that way we have a, a good uh, transition of color from one piece to the other one so it will tie together and then I will just extend only a little bit I will go back with 
white to enhance color and a little touch of yellow. And will be it. Well, I'm spraying yellow here on top of the orange. And now I will just spray just a tiny bit of it just to give it good transition. That little touch is enough to have a good transition of color between the red wagon and this other one. So I think that'll be it. Okay, well, uh, we are spraying the black uh, wheels. And in order to do that, I need to rotate the wheel and spray. This is a candy to a black color. So I'm just spraying there. And then I start rotating to go to the next section. Okay, we are ready to spray some 2K clear on our final piece. So we recover all the shiny of the original piece. 2K clear and uh, activator and reducer. Right, guys well finally this piece is being clear coated last shot we clear coated now this is absolutely done is this always been overnight it's all dry and look what we have it it's awesome okay guys check this out it looks awesome the candy color it really shows on the chrome base is absolutely awesome you can see all the detail and it transformed the whole thing from basic chrome to color chrome with candy tool. Check this out. It's just amazing. So you guys can try it now. Enjoy. Okay guys, well, that's it for this amazing project. Again, my name is Gerald Mendez and thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Hey guys, check this out. This is how nice it looks now on the sunlight. Look at the reflection. This is absolutely awesome. Every single angle, it looks amazing. Remember, this is just candy tool, you know, with a, uh, transparent sealer as a base, clear coated, white and colorize it. This is easy for anyone. So just give it a try. Clear, Createx is awesome. Believe me, you can tell right.